So we just talked about uh, relative references and absolute and mixed references so we can start taking advantage of more complex formulas in Excel. Uh, we can also use a lot of the built-in functions that Excel has and one of the easiest ways to see those is by going to the insert function button which is this little FX right next to the formula bar. So if we click on the FX button there are a whole list of categories here so if we wanted to look at math and trig functions we have uh, absolute value we have the arc sine we have the cosine etc so we can use these directly so for instance if I wanted to use the absolute value I can click on OK and it asks me for the different input arguments so the absolute value returns the absolute value of a number um, without its sign so for instance if I use the number negative 10 it should return 10. So this is a good way to get familiar with some of the functions in Excel. It actually prompts you for the different things uh, interactively. Alternatively, we could have done something like equals ABS parenthesis and then specified the number here as well. So we could do uh, the absolute value of negative 5. So it looks like equals to start our function, the built-in function name parenthesis and then any arguments that that function requires. So there are quite a few in there that we'll eventually use and talk about so um, just be aware that you can search for functions using this insert function button. What I want to do is look at uh, a basic chart here. So we're going to create a plot of sine of theta for values of theta between 0 and 2 pi. So we have a list here that we want to fill out and we're going to start the theta list with a value of 0 and then instead of having to type all these values in let's use a function so we're going to use equals the value above plus 0 0.2 so we're using a relative reference that's always going to refer to the cell above and it's just going to add 0 0.2 to that value let's copy this uh, we can also copy by using uh, the little button down here in the bottom right hand corner so if we click on it with the left mouse we can pull this down so I'm going to pull it down to the bottom of the table and we get up to the value of 7 which is just over uh, 2 pi here scroll back up to the top and then I'm going to use the sine function so it's equals sine parenthesis of my theta value so sine and all of the other trig functions in Excel use radians so just be careful when you are using them that you are using the correct units of uh, angles here. I can copy this down as well. I'm going to use a, a shortcut here. So I'm going to use control C. I'm going to navigate over, use the control and down key. Go over to the right one, control, shift and up. And that very quickly selects the range of cells that I want and I'm going to use control V to paste them. So what I have now is a series of theta values and the corresponding sine values and I want to plot those. So I already have a chart object set up here for you guys. So I'm going to click on it with the left mouse button and then right click and go to select data. So this is a series plot so we can show things as uh, line plots or marker plots or lines with markers. I have this set up as a, a straight line with marker plot. I'm going to add the series here. We're going to give it a name and we can either type it in directly or we can click on this button which allows us to pick a cell reference. So I'm going to reference sine of theta, hit enter. The x values, I'm going to use this button again to select my range. So I'm going to pick zero, uh, control shift down and pick the bottom. So when we're referring to a range of cells, it gives the first cell, uh, the colon, and then the second cell. So it's actually locked these. You can see there's dollar signs in front of both. So the range is dictated by the cell in the top left, uh, colon, and then the cell in the bottom right. So we can actually have a range that's more than one column. It could be uh, multiple rows and multiple columns. Uh, for the Y value, it defaults to equals 1. Uh, we can delete that or we can just click on the button here and then select our Y values. And You can see it didn't quite work exactly right so I'm going to delete uh, the plus 
and uh, that way it's only my cell reference here and it's probably going to yell at me unless I put an equal sign in here man this is a mess so let's try this again let's delete everything we have and then let's pick a column of our y values again so sometimes it's not the most intuitive but uh, just make sure that the formulas you're entering here are correct so we can hit OK and hit OK again and if we go back up we have our plot of sine of theta